there was an article that came out today that showed that parenting interventions had no effect on childhood obesity development by age two. And my immediate comments to that, that's no surprise to those of us who take care of childhood obesity. It may be a surprise to basically everybody else in the world, but I could have told you that that was the likely outcome of that study 15 years ago because children do not eat themselves or lack of exercise themselves into metabolic disease. That is a sort of myth of adult medicine and adult obesity, maybe, that has been propagated down to kids. When I see an eight-year-old with type 2 diabetes, there ain't nothing that that kid has done to make that disease come so early in him or her. So the drivers are all of the above, but it's genetics, it's epigenetics. So the environment that may have modified your parents' genes that get passed down to you are certainly important. And then it is environment, but it's the in utero environment. It's what you're exposed to as a fetus. There was another article about a month ago that showed that baby of mothers who had either gestational diabetes or diabetes as they went into pregnancy were 20% more likely to develop neurodiversity or autism spectrum. There was another article talked about sugar exposure in the first thousand days post-conception. So the question of nature and nurture is both, but the nurture isn't necessarily how we think about it. It's not kid is born and you're feeding them McDonald's. Okay. It's you ate McDonald's when you were pregnant or you ate McDonald's when you were 25 through 35 and then got pregnant at 35. I'm not trying to blame women or blame parents because male obesity also tracks to child obesity, but it's just, those are just facts. This is what we are dealing with. And if you really want to know the best way to help children from getting metabolic disease, it's from actually treating or preventing metabolic disease in their parents that's going to have the most right. significant impact.